Do you want more money? Moolah, cash, dinero, do you want more? I'm gonna tell you how right now. You know that this right here forever, forever. Go, go. And there will be no surrender. Man, I love this concept about money, right? Because people have all these kinds of beliefs. Money's bad, you don't want to make too much money. You're not gonna be happy. Look, money changed him, money changed her. Listen, let's get rid of all that noise. Let me tell you a story. When we lost everything back in 2007, 2008, we had big cars, we had big homes, we had brand new Mercedes and Range Rovers and Escalades, and we were kind of like a lot of people back there, just spending the money. And when we lost everything, I was kind of like, man, maybe that was the worst thing I could have done. Maybe I didn't learn my lesson about money. I'm never gonna buy a luxury car again. I'm never gonna live in a big home. I'm just gonna rent an apartment and live small. You ever, any of you ever feel that way? And then I had a mentor changed my life forever. He's sitting where sitting at his, you know, $2 million home around this fire pit. And he's got cars and he's young and he's just like, hey, amazing. And I'm like, there's, I had this like crazy conundrum. Conundrum is like a fancy word for like this dilemma. And I had this dilemma, I was like, I want the big house, but I feel like money's gonna, like, it's, it's bad for me. And I have this, you know, maybe God doesn't want me to be wealthy. Maybe I just need to be humble and spiritual and forget about the pursuit of making a difference and having money. I'm just gonna be poor. And here's what my mentor said to me. I changed everything. He said, Satema, do you want to know my thoughts on this? And I'm like, yes, please tell me. He said, if you want more money, get your journals out, get ready, because here's the punchline. If you want more money, go get it. I'm like, come again? And he's like, if you want more money, go, G-O, get, G-E-T, it, I-T, exclamation point. I'm like, and then he went on to say, look, money is just this thing that comes as a result of. And once you understand like the principles that govern money, money is a result of making a difference or creating value, go get it. And it was like, it was kind of mind blowing. I was like, wait a minute. You're saying if I want the brand new car again, I should go get it. And he's like, yep. You're saying, and this, you know, at this time I was living in a tiny 900 square foot town home, like eating ramen noodles with hot dogs and green onions and, you know, like putting milk and water in the cereal. I was doing all these crazy things that, but when you, when you hit the bottom, you kind of do some crazy things. And I remember he was like, yeah, go get it. You want a house? Go get it. You wanna raise your kids in private schools? Go do that. You wanna fly first class and go vacation? Go do that, go get it. Go get it. And that was like eight years ago. And I changed everything for September. Cause today, if I want something, I'm gonna go get it. If I want a nice watch, I'm gonna go get it. I'm gonna ask the question, what's required to get that? If I wanna take my family on an awesome vacation, guess what I do? I go, you got it, I go get it. If I want a brand new car, guess what? I go get it. If I want to help my mom and dad out, guess what? I go get it. Which means for you, if you want something, drop the stories that don't work. Drop the beliefs that are having you play small in your straight jacket of poverty and scarcity. And if you want more money, go get it. Yeah, I think we could talk about how it changes people. Of course it changes people. It makes them more of what they are. Of course, it has to change you. So you got to be ready for it. And if you're rooted and grounded in spirituality and purpose and love and giving back, guess what? The more money you make, the more you can get, the more you can give, the more you can help, the more you can make a difference for people. Why am I so passionate about this? Because a lot of people today, they are suffering, suffering and miserable because they want more money, but they got a story about it. Listen, you want it? Go get it. If the phone you're watching this on and it's like a, a iPhone 3SX and it's like 13 years old and you want a new one, go get it. And that's what I'm saying is, go do what's required to go get that. If you want a bigger home, go do what's required to go get the bigger home. If you want to go travel a different way and vacation and go on cruises and drive different cars, go do what's required to go do all of those things today. You don't have a thing about it because at one point in time, you're going to be in your grave and I promise you, if you didn't go get it, you will wish you would have taken the chances. You will wish that you went after your dreams. You will wish you would have hoped 
And you would be like, dang it, why didn't I go do it? So instead of waiting for someday, go do it today. Go do it right now.